in the I, building. I, I the street executives. George Musselbach. DJ, DJ, DJ. Technique. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Young Brinky. You're tuning in to the number one music and entertainment TV show in Memphis and the Mid-South. I'm talking about Brink TV. Now, of course, I got a shout out. First and foremost, I hustle because, hey, I hustle. I keep it on my mind, and you see I keep it on my heart. Shout out to I Hustle Clothing. Y'all got me suited and booted and fresh for this interview. Now, with that being said, we got legendary Memphis status. I'm talking about OG. I'm talking about big homie. I'm talking about, hey, he putting me in the game right now. <laughs> Al Capone, what's going on with oh, you? Oh, boy, what's up with you, like, boy? Hey, first I gotta say thank you for coming on the show. Man, Good thank you for having me. Man. Thank most you for having most deaf, most deaf. Now, we got a lot to talk about, you know what I mean? Matter of fact, we got a little catching up to do because most recently we was at the liquor lunch mm -hmm. at Hard Rock yes, Cafe. Yes, sir. And it was your birthday party, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Good so time. Let's, let's talk about it, man. All right, I mean, we got you a little know, something, something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if you ain't got none, you need to get you some. Okay, That's okay. first and foremost, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But, uh, uh, on the real, man, it was, it was a good thing. It was a, it was a great time, man. Uh, basically, uh, uh, pushing the launch of my new liquors, uh, Hustle Vodka, Memphis Heat Cinnamon Whiskey, and Sassy Girl Rum Cream. And you know what I'm saying? I, uh, it, it was a beautiful thing just to even get it to the point where it's, I knew that it was out. It was in liquor stores and people could actually buy it. And even before the lunch, we it was already in liquor stores. Right. We had already been kind of doing tastings in different places. and to get the response from the people that they actually like the product, which I felt like they were gonna like it anyway, but you know, you still had to get the real, true, you know what I'm saying, the truth from the people. Right, right. Like the people actually really like the product when they try it out. And the beautiful thing about it, you mentioned getting the truth from the people. Hey, if you ain't gonna get no truth from nowhere else, you gonna get it from Memphis, man. Yes, sir. Because you know how Memphis is. Oh, they're they, they gonna let me know. Yeah, they're gonna let me know. know that they like the product. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I appreciate uh, Memphis for supporting. And, uh, you know, even I got in, in uh, outside areas of, outside of Memphis as well, but, but definitely Memphis is the core. I appreciate the support and, you know, Hard Rock Memphis. Right. And, uh, brought it in, in um, where you can buy, you know, cocktails and stuff out of Hard Rock, which in turn, by them bringing it in, bringing it in, they actually opened the door for those liquors to be uh, ordered from any Hard Rock around the world wow. now. Wow. Uh, but you know, I want to, I'm, I'm focusing on, you know, just uh, making sure I brand it as well as I can wow. here. So when I'm ready to go to the next place, I already have like a, a blueprint and a foundation most and I kind of can follow that. Most deaf, most deaf. Now you say the Memphis Heat. Now you say this cinnamon whiskey. I remember you said it's kind of like a five ball. Kind of like a five ball. Hey, it, 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 I bet you it's about like one of them Jerry Lawler type five balls. <laughs> it's, it's better, you know what I'm saying? My opinion is better. Um, uh, you know, it, it has a the taste. It has yeah. a better taste in, yeah. my, you know, yeah. in my opinion. And most people that has tried it has said the same thing. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you know, it's 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 a it's a good product. I like right. to mix the Memphis Heat okay. and the Sassy Girl okay. together, okay. and uh, we we've been calling it a Bunny and Clyde drink. Oh man! You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, yeah, it, 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 the the combination yeah. is beautiful, and then it's around the holidays too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's actually a, a cool holiday drink. So yeah. uh, if if they ain't tried it, they need yeah. they should try it, man. The Memphis Heat, the Sassy Girl combination together, I promise you, is 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 a drink in its own own yeah. right. And with with the the hustle right here now, I'm a hustler, you know. Of course, I hustle. See, you got, that, you exactly. Know. You know what I'm talking like, about? Like, like I, I need something that's smooth that's gonna put me in the mind frame that I need. To, okay, I need to get out here and get this money. True that. True so that. So if I take a little a little sip of that, the I'm hustle ready for the work. I don't hear anything. The hustle is real. It's real. Uh, real smooth vodka. Yeah. Um, um, it never gave me a hangover yeah. or a headache, yeah. and um, that's the response that most people have said. You yeah. know, what I'm saying that when they they try it, like this is actually a premium vodka. Yeah, and um, um, you know. You know, like you said, Memphis. Yeah. They, 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 they gonna let it be known. Hey, Memphis don't. Man, you know, man, don't get. Ooh, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, 
Now, it's been number of positive responses from the hardest critics, yeah, you know. Most deaf, most deaf. And in addition to that, it's all about shining like New Jersey. Man, oh, man, you know, man, you, you know, know what I'm saying, hey, man. Hey, am I doing it right? Am hey, I man, doing you're doing it right. right, you know what I'm saying? If I do hey, it hey, right. Hey, hey, I'm, uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, dressed fully, right, right. you know what I'm saying, uh, like I was right, uh, right. Uh, on my birthday, you yeah, know what I'm saying. They yeah. say I had the Harlem Nights look, you know Pimpin', what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was all right. good, but uh, yeah. yeah, brand new jewelry, man. Yeah. Just basically um, the new single. Again, people have received it well. I appreciate it. Um, I was scared, actually, to put that song out. Why? Because most people um, pretty much associate me with, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, crunk, crunk bug, bug you lit. Know. Yeah. They, they associate me with that, you okay. know what I'm saying? So that this is a more smooth, more grown-up, suited which, and booted, suited and booted yeah. which I feel like it fits who I am right. at this point in time in my life and right. my career, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I want to represent where I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying I'm really I'm a grown grown man, you know what I'm saying? And I want I, I I personally felt like it was a dope record, but I didn't know how the people was gonna receive. See, it. This, this one thing, this one thing you got to think about. Snoop Dogg came out 187. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You sure right? He also dropped Sensual Seduction. Yeah, you sure and, right? You know what I'm saying? So saying? You in the it same was a growth. It was a growth. You, know, you put an OG move. Man, you know? I, hey, that's, that's how it the, and the fact that the people really liked that song, yep. you know what I'm saying, and, yep. and uh, uh, gave gave me a chance to uh, where they accepted it from me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It it it, it was like man, I. I it, it, I just feel good that you know yeah. people really, really love that song. That song is really the setup for the uh, the new project that okay. I have. Okay. It's the Al Bailey project, which okay. Al Bailey is my real name. Definitely. And you know, saying it's, it it was a way for me to, you know, saying kind of let people know who I am. You know, what I'm saying just on a little more personal. Right. You know, what I'm saying right. so it's the Al Bailey project. So New Jewelry is gives you a vibe of what that project is gonna be like. Okay. okay. So if you like New Jewelry, yeah. You finna get more of that with this Al Bailey Most project. Definitely. Soul Rock Memphis It's gonna have uh, 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 some rock type of songs on there as well. It's rap, you know what I'm saying? But just know some of the guitars and stuff in it, which right. is dope. Those are dope as well. So, you know, this, I wanted to represent Memphis in a different way um, for, for uh, Memphis hip hop. One way, one thing I wanted to show my growth. Right. right. Uh, another thing, Memphis has always been known for, you know, what I'm saying the, the our music. That's true. You know what I'm saying That's true. you got we got That's musicians true. all over the city, That's and true. that was my way of being able to say, you know, let me embrace the the musician side right. of what Memphis represents, and it gives me the opportunity to to, to perform with the band. Right. And right. you know, again, show that Memphis, you know, what I'm saying we gangster walk, we 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 Memphis underground. But then, we, as a whole of Memphis, we are a music city. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And through being a pioneer and OG of the Memphis underground sound, I'm, I'm doing my part to unite it all right. in one. And this right. is the package I'm trying to present now. The, the Al Baylor Project, New Jewelry is the flagship song. And we'll be expecting that top of 2017, right? Yes, sir. Most deaf. Yes, sir. Deaf. Now, of course, we will be premiering that video on tonight's episode. Oh, shortly, boy. But we got to talk about Memphis. Like, yes. You are one of the biggest representatives of Memphis. You all know? day. It's like every time I Ain't see Maine. Maine. Exactly. <laughs> hey, shout out to Maine Clothes. MainTshirts.com. Yeah, Get you some of that Maine T-shirt. That's it, that's com, it. Now, like every time I see you waving the flag, the Memphis flag, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about the state of Memphis hip hop right now? Because you've seen the evolution yeah. from Jump Street. Like yeah. when it first came out, you were saying everybody was gangster walking. That's what I grew up on. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. How, how how do you feel about the current state? Um, I think the state now is kind of half and half. Whereas you got, you know, what I'm saying first and foremost. You know, the young generation always have to have has to be the ones to keep the you know what I'm saying, to keep the legacy going. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? We can only we can do our thing and keep doing our thing, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying, if if uh it dies with us, then it dies. That's so true. The, That's true. The, it, it takes the young generation to embrace it, to keep to keep it keep it going and to pass it on to the next generation. That way it never dies. Right. So I from what I see with the young generation is uh, you you get a little bit of, of where they uh, represent mm -hmm. the true Memphis underground sound. Right. Like right. a lot of people, I don't, I don't know if they understand that Memphis for the Memphis sound, mm -hmm. the Memphis rap sound, is like the most one of the most unique, distinctive sounds right. that that's right. respected worldwide. You're right, you're right. But you know what I'm saying? I don't. I, sometimes I don't know if they know how to represent that right. and, and and stay with the current sound yeah so sometimes yeah. they tend to just 
strictly go with the current sound right, right. and you know, and not fully embrace Memphis. something that's uniquely yeah. Memphis you know right. what I'm saying You're which right. I feel like they you know it, it we, I just feel like the new generation needs to figure out how to you know what I'm saying keep embracing what's uniquely us but at the same time I, I understand that you know they want to play on the you know on, on uh, the current field of right. whatever's popping right. you know what I'm saying right. what you what what a lot of folks don't know trends I just did. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's popping now uh, could be could be something that came from another area. And, you know, next year it could be something else that's popping. And you always trying to, you know what I'm saying, keep up with what's going on. Sometimes you got this, the same way we did in the early days. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We, at some point, we were like, you know what I'm saying, we represent what we do. Right, right. And it made folks want to do what we do. You know exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, so, that's, I just feel like that's the state right now. Just you know, uh, some some of the new generation does embrace, you know, what I'm saying um, um, the original Memphis style, and you know, some you know choose to try to you know do what everybody else does. Right, exactly, exactly. Now, one of the places that personally I remember you from, you know, coming up, like I said, I was in middle school watching you on UGTV. Man, come on, man, and I'm gonna tell you something, man. Just to, to see you doing what you're doing. Well, now, the first time I saw you, I was like, man, you remind me of what I was doing right. back in UGTV, man. So, uh, man, uh, that was that was a great time. Actually, uh, a guy named Larry Clark, he's the one that actually started UGTV. Yeah, yep, he passed it on to me. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I was it, it was just fun to get out and interview people. Right. It's a different. It was a different thing, you know, what you're doing, interviewing people. And actually editing, I used to be into editing. Right. That used right. to be like fun to yeah. me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It was the creative yeah. process of. Knowing when to stop the, right. you know, the you know, this to go and flow into this, and yeah, it was it was yeah. just a fun thing to do. Yeah. And you know, I ended up passing it on to uh, Nardo Nukebomb did it for a minute. Then I passed it on to uh, Larry, passed it to Lit for a minute, mm -hmm. and Mr. Lit. Yeah. And uh, I think they called it something different. Yeah. Because uh, I think it was on Thursday nights. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And then uh, I ended up passing it on to Joe Gotti. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying so, uh, man. It just again just to see. Somebody like yourself, right? I, I feel like you are, you are extension of you know what I'm saying. This this represent Memphis hip hop yep. through through media. Yep. So the, salute hey, to you for that. It's the family tree, man. Like yes, I say, you know, you 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 came before me, pass it down, pass it down, and now we in the whole new generation. Man, it's a beautiful thing. Doing the man. Thing. And thank I, you. Eventually, I'm gonna pass it down to somebody. Else, and that's what you. Know? That's how it's supposed that's to be, man. Goes. That's how it's supposed to be. That's man. Memphis. Keep hey. the ball rolling. Memphis media matters. Go ahead, tell the people all your Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, if you got it, that way they can keep up with you. Uh, you can get at me uh, Instagram Al Capone Memphis. Uh, Twitter, Al Capone Memphis, uh, Facebook, uh, well, hold on, let me not, let me keep it Al Capone Memphis, uh, Snapchat Al Capone Memphis, even yeah. though I'm, man, I swear to God, I know I need to step it up, and I'm not stepping it up. I'm still learning, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I I'm gotta step learning. it up, I just don't be thinking about it, you know yeah. what I'm saying, you gotta really be, like, right now I need to be Snapchat, yeah. chatting, I guess, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I guess, I guess. but I don't be thinking about it at yeah. the time, and it's one of those things you have to, you know, it's, Whereas Instagram, you know, and Twitter, you know, it's just a, putting up a picture it's or right typing something Insta out real quick, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I just always trying to keep up with telling something about what you're doing throughout the day. Right, right. I got to get my Snapchat game up. But anyway, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram is all Al Capone Memphis. That's Capone with a K. Okay. Memphis, of course, that's my, that's my way of representing Memphis. Facebook um, um, is actually my name, Al Bailey. Yeah. And um, the, the the fan page is Al Capone Music, so okay. that's Facebook. Hey, well, I gotta say thank you for coming on the show. Man, what I'm gonna allow you to do? Go ahead, and shoot to your video. Oh man, man, man. Uh, this is called. Uh, I mean, when you want to get your grown, man, and, and, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Oh my, this is brand new jewelry, man. You know what I mean? Man, shine like brand new jewelry. All my OGs out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, even my, you know what I'm saying? But young, this is how you want to, you know. You know what I'm talking about? Brand new jewelry, man. This how we gonna shine, man. Oh, boy. Check it out. Bring TV.